Have you ever considered giving some of your taxpayer-funded salary back to taxpayers? Absolutely not. ShireSociety.com Are you in the county commission? I am. A uh, question for you. Yeah. Can you name something you've done in the last year to help reduce taxpayer expenditures? Oh, see these windows? Follow me. All right. See these windows right here? Yeah. We, uh, these needed to all be replaced. They're from 1858. Okay. And we chose to, there was a, they were in the budget for $250,000 to, to, because they have to be restored because it's a historic building. Mm -hmm. And I said, pull it out of the budget. Let's apply for a grant. We get the grant, and let's raise the money in the community. That's what we did. Nice, good job. Thank you. All right, who are you? It's Dave Ridley, RidleyReport.com. It's like a this poor, poor man's TV station. Poor man's, I like that. Mm. I'm Chris Coase, by the way. Oh, thanks. I'm the administrator. Oh yeah, I've talked to you on the radio a couple times. Oh, have you? Yeah, okay. I think. Are you on the county commission? Question for you. Sure. Can you name something you've done from your position to help reduce the no, number? I'm not a county commissioner. I'm just here for the meeting. Oh, you're just visiting it. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Now you work for the county? Yes, I'm on the city. You're on the city. Okay, thanks. Are you on the uh, county commission? Am I? No, I'm not a county commissioner. Oh, do you work for the county? I work for the county. Oh, can you uh, name something you've done in the last year to help reduce taxpayer expenditures? I. <laughs> Are you on the commission? No, facility supervisor. You work for the county? I do. Oh, okay. Question for you. Can you name something you've done in the last year to help reduce taxpayer expenditures? <laughs> uh, no idea. Literally no idea. Have you ever thought about it? No. I live have in you, my own little world. Uh, have you ever? Work here. I, I, what, working here is my contribution. Have you ever considered giving some of your taxpayer-funded salary back to taxpayers? Absolutely not. Why not? Uh, just a personal choice. All right. I live in my own little bubble. Well, I want my money back. I'm a kung fu guy and a, mar and a uh, biker, and that's basically I guess I'll help you keep that money that you uh, <laughs> sort of stole through taxation. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. All right. No, don't get involved in it. Sorry. Okay. Thank you for your answers. Are you on the county commission? Yes. Question for you. Can you name something that you've done in the last year to help reduce the number of uh, victimless criminals that your jail is holding? Who are you? It's Dave Ridley, RidleyReport.com. Beg your pardon? Dave Ridley, RidleyReport.com. Report? Ridley, RidleyReport.com. And what's the reason for the question? Does there have to be one? Do you understand the question? Say it again, please. Uh, what have you done from your position in the last year to help reduce the number of victimless criminals that your jail is holding? Victimless criminals. I've been extensively involved in the MAT program for the for the people who are incarcerated for drug and murder districts. And, um, and one of the things we've accomplished is is a reduction of the recidivism rate from 70 percent down to 25 or 30 percent. To keep them from coming back to jail. Yes. Sir. Now that does do the thing. You answered my question Thank and you. I appreciate it. Two thousand liberty lovers have moved to New Hampshire for the Free State Project. But there's a saying, my saying actually, United we stand, divided we rise. If you think the Free State Project is too centralized or restrictive, join the Shire Society instead. They're also recruiting people to move to New Hampshire, but they're decentralized and have no board of directors. ShireSociety.com